Hi guys, welcome back to Newcastle Fans TV. We're just outside St James's Park a little bit, but we are outside St James's Park. It's finished Newcastle one Wolves. What we're going to do with the uh, scoring of the player? I like to start with Martin Dubravka. Um, he just likes a mistake against Wolves, unfortunately, doesn't he? It's it's an error that cost a goal. Unfortunately, I'll take the blame. If you, if you didn't have that error, 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 sorry, I'm saying error. You'd probably be scoring a little bit higher, but the cost were two points in theory. So for that, I'm going to have to score my three. Cost for two points. Yeah, we don't we don't rate Dubravka less off like less than a five very often, even if we concede loads of goals. So it just tells you how disappointing that mistake is today. Um, I'm going to start with Jetro Villems as uh, a left wing back. I thought Triori was a real real handful. I think we struggled to contain him. I thought Villems did as well as he physically could, um, but his pace is just electrifying and. You know, Willems going forward was okay. I think it's like a standard Willems going forward. I think he was okay. Try to help um, Alan St. Maximum out. Looking um, forward to seeing Richie back next week. Yeah, I think we could do with him back. I thought he was okay, Willems. I'll go five out of ten. Uh, first and a half, I'll go. Let's go for the the new guy, Fernandez. You know, he hasn't been seen for about six weeks, I think. But uh, thought he did okay when he, when he came in. You did all right in particular first half. Uh, second half, uh, Wolves were on the both flanks more on Willem's side rather than Fernandez, but. It was all right. I noticed he was taking throw-ins. I noticed he was trying to come out like Fabian Shea as well. So there's obviously a key tactic there where Bruce was trying to implement. But um, I thought he'd done all right. You know, I'm going to score him six. I'll go with the goal scorer, Jamal Lascelles. Fernandez's assist. Uh, oh, Lascelles, fantastic header. It was almost like Burnley a couple of years ago from the from a corner where he just bulleted it in. It was the, really, really good. He was the best defender. He was today. And do you know what? The goal was just... It was brilliant as well. I was a bit worried after 10 minutes when he was down. I thought, oh no, we, we need all the defenders that we need at the minute. But um, yeah, a good performance by Jamal Lascelles today. Doesn't deserve to be on a losing side, but I'm going to go 8 out of 10 for Jamal Lascelles. Uh Next to him was Kieran Clark. I thought Kieran Clark was just as good, to be brutally honest with you. I'll probably score Lascelles probably slightly higher. I thought Lascelles was the yeah, better. Yeah, I think with the, with the goal as well yeah. helps him. But I thought defensively, again, he does the job, doesn't he? Yeah, I thought whereas Fernandez started more strong, I think Clark was a little bit shaky, then grew into the game and became the better of him and Fernandez. I'll score my seven. I thought he was all right. I think dealing with help and covering Willems going forward and defensively with Triori, I, yeah, it's a little bit difficult, but I thought he dealt with that side all right. Also, like with Kieran Clark, where it was like 10 minutes from the end, and he went in for two sliding challenges when he was on a yellow card as well. Wasn't afraid to, to go for it today. So, yeah. Kieran Clark did okay today, has to be said. Uh, right wing back to Andre Yedlin. Can't cross to save his life. We've said this for how many years? If we could get a full back with his pace, but that could cross a ball. I think Joe Linton maybe could get a few more chances. But I think Troy already has that problem as well. <laughs> he does, doesn't he? I think someone said he has, he's, he's like a Ferrari, but in a, in like a Fiat Punto or something. <laughs> like, it, like it's, it's, no, it's like the perfect uh, description uh, but yeah I thought it was okay I thought he didn't have to deal with Triori thank god um, I'll go 6 out of 10 let's move into the midfield uh, I'll like to start with the man in full she's like getting sent, sent off Sean giving Longstaff giving me the tough ones aren't you well, I had Jamal Lascelles you can have Sean Longstaff yeah I thought you had a really good game up to that point we haven't seen it back because obviously it was literally what 10 minutes after full yeah. time so on the basis that Wolves were protesting three of them went straight to the referee it looked like from me that he won the ball but then went through the defender obviously I still haven't seen it back and everyone who's now watching this because obviously this will be out later on would have seen it back and they'll say yeah it was similar like Hayden's yeah it wasn't or whatever the reason it being but if he's went through him did he cost with the game as much as Dubravka no I felt that Wolves were slightly better anyway second half well I say slightly a lot better second half so I don't think he cost with the game I just thought well, the emphasis to try and go and get an extra two points probably lost at that point and will probably take the point but five because he cost my record he was so comfortable on the ball it might be a bit harsh but it, it, it was it was so good on the ball it was, it's, it's great to see him and Matty actually link play up a little bit I would have scored him high if not the red card but the red card made the fact yeah. that we couldn't go and get that second goal yeah definitely uh, next to him was Matty Longstaff I thought he was I thought he was superb again to be brutally honest with you. I think the last two home games since Bruce has put him in the team I think he's been brilliant I thought he didn't really see much from against Chelsea I thought he was outnumbered um, against Chelsea but he, he's again very similar to Sean he's very comfortable on the ball can see the eye of a pass has a bit of aggression in him as well um, I thought he was I thought he was pretty good today I'm going to give him a 7 out of 10 uh, Alan St Maximum I didn't really see a lot of him today did we like he was he was there in sparks but he wasn't like a Triore where you thought every time Triore got the ball he thought oh we're in danger here you have some puffs, as Matt Ritchie does, but he's got a lot more than going forward than Ritchie. But in terms of he wants to try and take it on all on his own, that's a frustrating side. Bruce has said, oh, there's going to be times where it's going to frustrate him and there's going to be times where he's going to come up being 
I think he had the mixture of both. He was going past a couple of players, but not finding the right pass, not releasing it, trying to do too much on his own. But you'd rather have him in your side than not in your side, of course. Uh, I thought he was all right, but he was a threat. He was probably the only real threat. Although I did think, I'm sure you'll come on Almiron. Almiron had one of his better games despite missing the chance. But six out of ten for St. Maximum. I think that's a bit generous because I was going to go six out of ten for Almiron, but I thought Almiron was better today. Um, look, have a word of Kylie, he'll score a lot higher than that. Do you think? Well, we'll speak. We'll speak. Okay, be on the radio show if you haven't seen the radio show back. That'll be on later on tonight. But yeah, I thought I thought Almiron was better. Look, he's getting. He was. He got a bit close at scoring his first goal for Newcastle. I, I joked with my friend the day that I sat next to at the, at the game. I said, "What's going to happen first? He had them doing a good cross or Almiron score, and we couldn't decide." Um, but yeah, he had the chance in the first half where he's through. He had a bit of pace on the central defender, um, and. I think it was a bit of a heavy touch that went in the box and he just it just took him away from goal. I actually thought he scored because obviously the net rippled, but look, I thought he was I thought defensively he was brilliant as well. He just needs that goal. We keep on saying this week in, week out. But if you're, don't play him on the right though. I've said this all yeah. right already. Don't I, play him on the right. I only thought he played on he only he only plays on the right when it seems to be depending on whoever the fullback is in the opposition. I, I think that's why he has to go on the right if they think they can get same same maximum can get the better out of the whoever's on the right back or the left back, depending on who it is. But um, I'm going to go seven if St. Maximum's getting the six. I thought Elion was slightly better. Should have scored, though. Yeah, definitely. Um, I don't think someone that's going to get a seven is, on, is Joe Linton. And he could, even there was, a, there was a few boos in the Gallagher today um, with his performance. I, I, I never I never boo players, but I, I would boo the team if, at the end, end of a half or end of a game. But I don't like booing players for their performance. I do feel like they tried, but it's hard to give him a high score today it is hard to score him high but then again he's got three Wolves centre-backs around him it's difficult man whoever's there um, I will criticise Bruce I'm sure we'll give Bruce a rating but putting Dwight Gale on the 90th minute man Isha was saying earlier on in the previews in her section of the preview saying why not go for Dwight Gale and now you see it let's match up with Wolves and I thought Bruce should have done that the lineup didn't surprise me, but we're going back to Joe Linton. Yeah, he's got three men around him. Although he's twisting, you know, he's not getting the ball played when he's twisting the referee, Kevin Friend. He's trying his best to hold it off, but then he's got bodies around him. I just don't think the formation suits him. So, Do you not think it was a bit lazy at times? Cause it was, about- but it's, I think it's just because he's isolated. So, four out of ten. Do you agree with Joe Linton's rating four out of ten? Would you have gone lower? Because he was, he was really poor today. Uh, the substitute, John Joe Shelby, came on pretty much straight away for Sean Long, uh, not for Sean Long, so for uh, Joe Linton. I'm not going to rate him because it was the 82nd minute, when, or 83rd minute rather, when John yeah, Joe Shelby came work. on. Same as Christian Atso, same as Dwight Gale. You know, we're not going to rate them. So we're going to go on to Steve Bruce. Now, there's moans and groans, especially where I was sitting in the Gallagher today. Didn't go for it. Negative. Wolves only played not, not even 72 hours ago in... in Europa League away from home in, where's the Slovakia Slovan I don't know Slovakia Bratislava so, I'm sure that's Bratislava, Slovakia Slovan Bratislava yeah Rob will tell you Rob's good at all that stuff um, but yeah geography question that man not I a know. football question it's Slovakia I'm sure it is possibly but um, no for, for for me Bruce was negative but I'll give you the. I'll let you write him Lee because I'm going to just put on the other, other side of the coin Debraf- when Debravka makes that error I thought Newcastle weren't comfortable but Wolves weren't really testing Debravka does he have to leave it as long as physically possible until they're getting a bit more tired? Or does he have to, does he have to bring on a Shelby, a Gale, just something to freshen the team up? Well, first of all, the lineup, as I mentioned before, I would have liked to see match up with Wolves go to up top and Gale, because Joe Linton's struggling, and that's a thing. Is is he going to be brave enough to drop a £40 million striker? I don't think he will yet. You can't drop a £40 million striker, you're going to have to drop midfielder. But I think he should if he's not producing. But then again, he's got all he's got that two or three bodies around him it's hard for him but, but then but first half I was like 1-0 up yeah it's pretty good this and I thought second half Wolves were a different team I thought they were coming out although they weren't they weren't clear cut chances there were a lot of wing play a lot of beating with man in particular Triore and I was I even said even before the sending off he needs to freshen up so I was one of those fans that let's freshen it up a little bit let's make some subs but he was only reacting really to the red cards that's when he reacted and then he then he was saying okay I had to, he had to hit maximum up top I mean why isn't Dwight Gale on earlier so but as soon as you're down to 10 men I would have took a point I would have said right let's shut up let's get it let's go um, but overall I was going to go 5 I would probably say 5 Wolves would probably feel a little bit they should have probably nicked that but I would say 5 yeah average I think Wolves could have certainly deserved all 3 points today I thought Newcastle were very well, bang average in the second half to say the least I thought the first 20 well the last 
period of the second, of the first half, rather, I thought we were fantastic, but that was pretty much about it for Dave for Newcastle. Get your comments in. Get your ratings in. What did you make of Joe Linton's performance? He's going to get a lot of scrutiny as well. What did you make of Valems against Traore? I thought it was a tough afternoon, but did as well as he physically could. And what do you rate Dubravka? Another error against Wolverhampton Wanderers. Unfortunately, it seems to happen all the time for Dubravka against the team. Wolves, again. Well, at least it wasn't last minute. Yeah, that's the only positive. Like and subscribe to Newcastle Fans TV and we'll see you later on this evening.